All right, can't believe I'm about to do this. So we all know grizzly bears are incredibly strong creatures. They can easily send any human to the afterlife in just a single swipe to the head. So, this begs the question, how much can a grizzly physically lift? I want to put a number on how strong these ursids actually are. So, in order to do that, I did extensive research on the anatomy of bears, and I even had to dust off my old calculator to crunch some numbers. The results I found were pretty shocking, so make sure to stick to the end to figure out how powerful a grizzly bear truly is. And before we begin, feel free to voice your opinion in the comments, but remember to be respectful. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content about nature. With that being said, let's get this video started. The first thing we need to do in order to assess a grizzly's strength is to get some baseline stats. The grizzly belongs to the species called brown bear. They inhabit the mountain forests, alpine meadows, and prairies of the northwestern region in North America. Grizzly bears are famously known to be very tanky. They have shaggy, brownish blonde fur with lots of fat covering their entire body for insulation. A typical mature male weighs around 700 pounds and can stand up to 8 feet tall on its hind legs. However, bears in the coastal region of Alaska can grow much larger. They average around 900 pounds and can stand up to 9 feet tall on their hind legs. Okay, so now that we have a general understanding of what a grizzly is, let's get to the fun part, which is feet. These bears are built for bulk, so it's no surprise that they have an incredibly strong upper body. One grizzly was observed busting through a door with ease and curiosity. Another bear was observed knocking down a spruce tree with one forelimb. Granted, the tree was on the smaller side, but it's still an impressive feat nonetheless. Perhaps one of the most notable feats was a grizzly casually knocking over a 700 pound dumpster with little effort. Just for reference, this would take around 5 average men without any tools to accomplish this. However, there is a problem with these recorded feats when trying to determine the true strength of these ursids, which is that they weren't exerting their full power. This fact made me dig even deeper into the topic of bear strength and anatomy. The general build of brown bears is definitely towards the bulky side, with adults having between 25 to 40% body fat. Their percentage differs greatly between seasons, with bears being leaner in the spring and heavier in the fall and winter. However, scientific studies show that the average year-round body fat for male grizzlies is around 30%. Also, you'd be surprised at how little information there is about bear anatomy. It took me hours of research to figure out how much muscle a grizzly has. I mainly got the muscle calculations for referencing the larger and prehistoric cousin of the grizzly, which is the cave bear. By scaling down the weight of the skeleton of a cave bear, I figured out that the bones and organs of a grizzly accounts for nearly 25% of its body mass. This means that 45% of the grizzly is muscle. So, by doing some quick math, the muscles of a 700 pound grizzly would be around 315 pounds, the skeleton and organs would be around 175 pounds, and the fat plus fur would be around 210 pounds. Now that we have that information, it's time to calculate the true strength of a grizzly. This was by far the most time-consuming part because I had to use biophysics, anatomy, and geometry in order to calculate the maximum force of what a grizzly's arm can produce. We will be analyzing the tricep, bicep, forearm, and shoulder muscle to get an approximation of its upper body strength. I first started with the tricep, which accounts for nearly 70% of the ursid's upper arm. By doing some quick measurements, its volume would be around 1,320 centimeters cubed. Now, given that the bear's muscle fiber is around 0.00195 centimeters cubed, and a single muscle fiber can produce around 0.0013 joules, the total amount of force the tricep can produce would be around 880 newtons. Moving on to the bicep, which accounts for the remainder, or 30% of its upper arm, 
its volume would be around 924 centimeters cubed, which yields a maximum force output of 616 newtons. Switching over to the forearm, its volume would be roughly 2,812 centimeters cubed, but one important thing to note is that even though the forearm is larger than the tricep, it generally is a little weaker on average, having around a 2% disparity. This means that the bear's forearm would have an absolute force output of around 862 newtons. And just like that, we are on to our last muscle, which is the shoulder. This was pretty difficult to calculate given its shape and proportions, but at last, I managed to figure it out. The shoulder muscle is capable of producing a maximum force output of 960 newtons. This means that altogether, one arm of the grizzly has an absolute force output of 3,318 newtons. Just for reference, one arm of an average grizzly is capable of moving 745 pounds, or 338 kilograms. If we multiply this number by 2, since grizzlies have two arms, the ursid is capable of pushing roughly 1500 pounds, or 680 kilograms. It should be noted that all these measurements were calculated referencing a 700 pound interior grizzly. If we take into account the coastal brown bears, which average around 900 pounds, then that beast would be capable of pushing up to 1900 pounds. And just remember that the results of these calculations are if the bear was exerting all its strength in one motion. So, there you have it. The average grizzly is able to move an object a little more than double its weight. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content like this.